Hey, I'm Taylor Berry, and today I'm going to be touching on page rank and how it applies in linear algebra as well as computer science. So, starting off, what exactly is is page rank? Um, page rank is a Google search algorithm that ranks their search engine results. So, if you ever wondered how certain websites make it on the first page rather than the thousands of other pages of results when you uh, search something on Google, it's used using this page page rank algorithm. Um, and PageRank works by counting the number of quality of links to a page to determine a rough estimate of how important the website is. The underlying assumption is that more important websites are likely to receive more links from other websites. So some history behind um, the PageRank algorithm. It was named after Larry Page, who was one of the founders of Google. Um, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who was also a founder of Google, developed the algorithm in 1996 as a part of a research project at Stanford University. So I find that very interesting, being that they were two students, um, just like you and I, who were able to um, create a business that happens to be one of the bus biggest businesses in the world. Um, PageRank was patented, however, the patent um, is assigned to Stanford University rather than Google, which is pretty crazy, being that Google, that's Google's main algorithm, but yet Stanford University owns it pretty much. Um, Stanford University did receive 1.8 million shares of Google in exchange for use of this patent. Um, the shares were later sold for $336 million. So there's, Google is not the only um, use of the PageRank um, algorithm. Uh, in neuroscience, PageRank is an, um, of a neuron in a neutral network has been found to correlate with its relative firing rate. Also, in an ecosystem, a modified version of PageRank may be used to determine species that are essential to continuing the health of environment. So, if you remember from class, um, PageRank in linear algebra is uh, is pretty simple, but you got to think in Google they're they're running these results on millions of of searches of websites and links. Um, so here's just a simple page rank link um, with three um, websites, if you will, one, two, three, and four. So if you remember, one um, connects with three, connects with four, and connects with two. So that would be um, one-third of all the results if you look in column one, um, the black letters. So that would be one-third um, goes to link two, one-third goes to link three, one-third goes to link two and so on, um, you can go through um, this map and, and determine the, this matrix uh, to determine which websites um, are most important. So here's an example that we did during class that has six different links, um, and we, we determine the matrix based off the map and the arrows that connect um, each link, and we came up with this six by six matrix um, and if you use the eigenvalue that equals one, you you can determine which link really um, is the most important or most visited, um, and which would end up on the first page of Google, if you will. So here we have um, link five and link six with the highest values. So those are the two most important links um, in this uh, map because uh, their their values in this uh, vector are one and one. So how does this correlate with my major, which is computer science? Um, PageRank um, was eventually coded uh, into a lang into C++, which is what Google uses it, but it can be coded into any language that you, that you really want because um, there's, there's tons and tons of uh, languages in computer science. So PageRank was a mathematical computation um, that eventually was coded so that could give us these search engine results that Google, uh, Google has. These are my sources and thank you for watching.